Einstein once said that you need 1% imagination and 99% perspiration to arrive at these great results. And he really changed the way we think about nature and, and the world. Now markets in patents allows people to ameliorate on that, to trade ideas from the, the understanding of the nature. So that's a human problem, a human coordination problem, how we work together. So in that sense, the patent system then becomes an instrument of economic development, and particularly for the South today, because investments have been made in the last couple of decades, and hundreds of millions of people are now highly educated in the South. We just need the mechanisms to make this exchange possible. So in this talk, I will talk about two studies. One is about an experiment <clears throat> on coordination between inventors and innovators, and it shows how the willingness of people uh, develop and how you can find the right and the most efficient technology. Now, the result of that is that it's basically only the largest nations who can afford to, to invest in all these projects simultaneously that you need to arrive at the best technology and all the others have to cooperate. So the patent system allows national cooperation between these. So this has an, an enormous policy implications that you have to find trading rules so that nations can work together based on the patent system. So the second study is an empirical study of companies and the discussion there is to how you overcome the uncertainty that is involved in trading patents, which is a very complicated problem because you don't know who's, what's going to be invented tomorrow and if your adversary becomes your friend or your friend becomes your adversary, you have to solve these problems. And we find that there are four strategies that companies use and they all share the same feature of creating a mutual self-restraint so that you can trust in each other's actions not to sue each other but to cooperate. And we need to understand these four strategies better, what really motivates people to go from one to the other so we can promote policies which favor exchange, not exclusion or just staying on your, on your, on your own side. So these two um, talks then and art or articles, they will uh, hopefully shift then the incentives of investment from just more of producing more invention of the same to something of the new so that we have more innovations and particularly we're interested in the promising innovations and uh, inventions that comes from the south. Thank you.